Good morning, my beautiful, lovely friends. It's Monday, March 18th, 2019. Let's talk, and I want to show you something that you are going to find very, very interesting. All right, so as I am doing this video vlog, <laughs> stocks are higher across the board. Not a big monumental rally. However, the Dow Jones Industrial Average did start off in the negative because of Boeing and I, I think Boeing is kind of like the ace in the hole here let me put a little light on that so Boeing is under some pressure again we really shouldn't be surprised about that but I do believe moving forward uh, they're gonna find a way to push this stock higher now again Boeing is heavily weighted in the Dow Jones Industrial Average and we're still higher stocks are still higher right now um, and they're not higher on any economic news or, or, or anything that you would imagine would be something uh, bullish for the stock market except this and uh, I want to show this to you and I'm gonna urge you to to do this here download the CNBC app for one, one of these telecommunication devices his tracking devices yeah that's what they are but uh, anyway you're gonna love this one okay here we go the six month is yielding higher than the one year the two year the three year the five year the seven year and is actually creeping up on the 10 year this is incredible it really is it's an incredible thing <laughs> that's why stocks are higher understand the sickness of the environment that we are in there's literally nowhere for an investor to go right now you can't be in a bond you've got to be as high as high can possibly be to be holding a unit of debt in this environment you should be betting against the debt you know that becoming your own central bank period and you can see I mean this is glaring across the sky but it's being completely ignored look here look at the stock market don't look at what's going on in the largest aspect of the financial world that is the debt market which is screaming right now that there are big big problems coming down the pike but no <laughs> you're not supposed to know that you know just uh, stay stupid people that's what they want you to do but you're not so watch that bond market the the more suppressed that yields become in this environment again we always have to look at things in their particular perspective and take them into account a lot of things but in this environment this is going to continue to force cash into the stock market and super hyperinflate the stock market bubble which is being pulled up by the debt bubble negative rates are coming here I have no doubt about it let me say this how many of you out here remember years ago before anybody else this guy was explaining that we were going to get an inverted yield curve I got laughed at I got ridiculed uh, across the board you can't even imagine the heat I took well right now guess what I was right <laughs> yeah and I'm gonna be right here too uh, we we're gonna get negative rates uh, we already have, I mean, negative rates in real terms, but um, understand what this means for you moving forward. At one point, you are going to be charged to keep any amount of cash in the banks. That's how this is going to work moving forward. I'm not sure when this is going to happen, but you can see it. Um, again, and I covered this yesterday, starting tomorrow. It will speak the, the Federal Reserve understand they already know what's gonna happen what it's there's no mystery here all they're doing now is trying to figure out how they can spin it on Wednesday so tomorrow starts the FOMC meeting Wednesday we're gonna get the announcement which is gonna be a zero they're going to maintain the status quo which means they're gonna to continue to print cash out of thin air and buy debt quantitative easing has never stopped period the end who in their right mind would want to hold a debt unit here I'm gonna give you one guess as to who's buying all the debt it's the lender of last resort 
Who would the lender of last resort be? Hmm, maybe the Federal Reserve and every other world central bank who's doing the same thing. You understand? That's the way this is playing out. And this should be another glaring example of why you need to bet against the debt, become your own central bank, play this dog shit market, uh, and then pull your profits out and convert that into hard assets. Do you see how simple this is? This is so easy. Speaking of easy, um, for those of you lions out here who got in on my call with SPY, we are ripping its face off. Currently, our calls are now in the money. Uh, I am now turning my attention to IWM, the ETF that tracks the Russell 2000. I have not entered a position yet, but I am considering it, and when I do, I will post it on my social networks, more specifically on Twitter. Start following me on Twitter, um, so you'll know what I'm doing here. I will also post when I'm closing positions there, too. We're going to take this to a new level. I mean, like a beyond, beyond level, because I promised you, and I still stand by this, there is no way the freak show is going to beat us. It ain't going to happen. Not under my watch. Forget about it. Just not happening. Um, lastly, um, overwhelming uh, an overwhelming amount of you have written to me about getting together here uh, on Saturday May 18th here in Vegas at the Bellagio so that's we're gonna do it so uh, we're gonna meet at a bar I'll put when we get closer to it this there's a bar by the uh, poker room we'll meet over there just you know hang out and have a good time so keep that on your uh, your radar screen Saturday, I wrote it down here, May 18th at the Bellagio, right here in Las Vegas. We're going to have a lot of fun, and I'm looking forward to that day. All right, so with that said, you know what you should be doing here. Watching that bond market, download the CNBC app. The yield curve is, is uh, it's just a little disaster area right now, but that does not mean, as I explained even yesterday, that stocks are not going to continue higher here. That's the game. The game is to push cash into stocks, push more into stocks, more into stocks, and then at one point, rip the band-aid off, pull the plug out, or if you want to say, boom, wealth transfer. Wealth transfer? Wealth transfer. And it's going to be transferred to you if you're on the right side of that trade, and you will be. You will be. If you're one of my lions, I promise you, you will be again. With that said, this guy, we'll see you later uh, at the market close. Okay.